Welcome to Broadband 101. Uh, we're delighted to be here to kind of give you a little bit more insight into what broadband is, what it will be, and why it matters to you and to the American people and, and the folks you represent. We have with us uh, the main presenters are Dr. Robert Pepper, immediately to my left, who is the Senior Managing Director of the Global Advanced Technology Policy Unit at Cisco. To my right is Jeff Campbell, who's also with Cisco. He's the Senior Director of Technology and Trade Policy. He's an expert in intellectual property law, internet regulation, international trade, and information technology regulation. And he's a member of the Board of Directors of the California Emerging Technologies Fund, the Family Online Safety Institute, and the Voice on the Net Coalition. Well, over the last 15 years, we've kind of gotten a sense with the internet, information superhighway broadband can be, but it's getting more and more um, uh, interesting, uh, it's getting more and more essential, and it's growing in, at a pace, I think, pace that none of us could have uh, predicted. What I've been seeing is that the debate on broadband is not just a U.S. debate or discussion, it's a global discussion, and there are four fundamental phases through which a national discussion or debate about broadband uh, goes. The first one is availability. Do we have broadband? Is it available? Right, it's gotten out to about what, you know, 90, you know, plus percent, 90 odd percent, 90 odd percent, right? And then the, the the stimulus package, which we'll talk about later, is to make sure that it's available to everybody. But that's the first phase, right? Is it available? Then the second phase of the debate uh, looks at the adoption rates. Uh, you know, the U.S. used to be, you know, in the top five, and now it's someplace in the uh, second or third, uh, you know. You know, 15, someplace in there. And then the third phase is about speed. Is it fast enough, right? So there's this uh, discussion debate about what does broadband actually mean? What is broad enough to be broadband? What is high speed enough to be broadband? The four, and that, but that's where most of the debate today in the U.S. is, and a lot of the discussion around the stimulus package was, you know, how do we define it? Is it going to be good enough? Is it going to be able to have applications going forward? But related to that, there's this fourth uh, 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 discussion, which is just now beginning in the U.S., and frankly, in some countries, it's the, already the focus, and that is the quality of the broadband. There's a lot of traffic that is going now upstream from you up to somebody else. And that's where the symmetry issue becomes more important, because the future applications are going to be more symmetric in their use. The traditional uses of the internet were very asymmetric. A little bit of data going up and a lot more coming down. Now that's changing, as you'll see, because of things like social networking, uh, gaming, video conferencing, where you have to be, able, where, where everybody's beginning to send their own material upstream. Email, if you think about it, is not sensitive to latency. If my email arrives a second later, five seconds later, even a minute later, I really don't care. If I'm doing voice over IP, any latency kills the service. You can't do it. So, you know, even with low bandwidth applications, voice over IP and email, there's this other dimension, not just bandwidth, that affects it. But if I'm gaming, right, it doesn't work if there's a lot of latency. Uh, if I'm looking at something like downloading video, I don't care about latency because it's not two-way. It's all one way. And the only question on bandwidth is how long do I want to have to wait for the download? Tomorrow's package, which exists already but it's not widely used, requires over 11 meg megabits downstream 5 megabits upstream and delay of no more than 60 milliseconds.